In this video, we'll show you how to connect your Canon EOS digital SLR camera to a Mac over a wireless network. Let's get started. Using the easy connection method, you can easily transfer your photos and videos from your Canon EOS digital SLR camera to your Mac. Download the most recent Canon EOS utility software from the Canon website by visiting usa.canon.com support. Follow these steps to download the software for your camera. Click on the search box and type in your Canon EOS digital SLR model. Select your camera from the drop-down search results, then click Go. On the camera's model page, click Drivers and Downloads. Look for the latest EOS utility software in the optional software list. Click Select, and then click Download. A new window will appear with instructions on locating and installing your download. Review the information, and then click the X icon to close the window and begin the file download. Click the down arrow in the top right of the browser and then select the EOS Utility Software Package. A window will appear with the EOS Utility Installer. Double-click the file, then click Open. Select your place of residence and click Next. Click OK, then click Install to start the software installation. Review the license agreement. If you agree to the terms, click Yes to continue with the installation. If you click No, the software will not be installed. Enter the password you use to log into your Mac, then click OK to proceed. The software will now be installed. This may take a few minutes. When you see this screen, click Next. You'll be asked to register for Canon Image Gateway. Select No, I will register later, then click Next. Then click OK. Click Finish to complete the installation process. Now let's connect your camera. Please make sure the camera's date and time are correctly set up and a memory card is inserted in the camera before proceeding. Please note, the EOS 80D has a touchscreen function. For this video, we'll be using the Set button and the Multi-Controller to make selections. Make sure the camera is powered on, then press the Menu button. In the first yellow wrench menu, go to Wireless Communication Settings. Make sure Wi-Fi slash NFC is enabled. If this is your first time enabling Wi-Fi functions, you'll be asked to enter a nickname. This nickname will be used for Wi-Fi connections. Select OK. You may select the provided nickname or enter your own. Make a selection, and then press the Menu button. Select OK. Back on the Wireless Communication Settings, select Wi-Fi Function. In the Wi-Fi Function options, select Remote Control EOS Utility. On the Connection Method screen, leave the selection on Easy Connection, and then select OK. On the Mac, click the Wi-Fi icon on the upper right of the screen. Select the SSID or network name displayed on the camera's LCD monitor. If you'd like for your camera to connect automatically to your computer, place a check in the box next to Remember This Network. For the password, enter the encryption key displayed on the camera's LCD monitor. 
then click Join. Back on the camera, select OK to start pairing devices. Back on the computer, open EOS Utility. The EOS Utility Launcher window will appear. Click Pairing over Wi-Fi slash LAN. The EOS Pairing Software window will appear. Select your camera model, then click Connect. Return to your camera and select OK to connect it to your computer. On the Mac, the EOS Utility menu screen will appear. Before we download your images, let's make sure the images will be saved in the right location on your computer. Click on Preferences. The Preferences window will appear. Click on the drop-down arrows and then select Destination Folder. By default, your photos will be saved in the Pictures folder. Click Browse to change your folder location. You may choose a folder that you've already created, or you can click New Folder to create a folder in a new location in your hard drive. Click Open when you're finished making your selections. Back on the Destination Folder menu, review the options for creating a subfolder. Make your selections, and then click OK. Back in the EOS Utility menu, click on Download Images to Computer. You'll have an option to Start Automatic Download or Select and Download. If you're going to select Start Automatic Download, make sure to click Settings first. Review your options and then make a selection. Click OK. You can now click Start Automatic Download. Depending on the number of photos and videos, the download may take a few minutes. If you click and choose Select and Download, a new window will open. Select the images or videos that you'd like to download by clicking the small box in the lower left corner of the thumbnails. Then click Download. A window will appear where you can verify the destination folder for your images. If you'd like to edit your destination folder location, click Destination Folder. Make your changes, and then click OK. If no changes are needed for your destination folder, click OK. Depending on the number of photos and videos, the download may take a few minutes. Once your download is complete, click Quit to close EOS Utility. You can now disconnect your camera from your computer. Press the Menu button. In the first yellow wrench menu, select Wireless Communication Settings. Select Wi-Fi Function. Then select Disconnect Exit. Select OK to disconnect Wi-Fi and exit. If you need to reconnect your camera to your computer, there's no need to complete pairing again if you'll continue using the camera and the computer together. Again, go to the first yellow wrench menu and select Wireless Communication Settings. Then select Wi-Fi Function. In the Wi-Fi Function menu, select Remote Control EOS Utility. During the initial wireless connection setup, the camera saved the connection settings as Set 1. You may keep the connection name as Set 1, or you can rename it by going to the Review slash Change Settings menu, and then select Change Settings Name. We'll go ahead and keep Set 1 as our connection settings name. Press the Menu button to confirm the name, then select OK to save your selection. Press the Menu button to go back to the previous screen. Select Connect. Then select OK. Depending on the initial wireless connection setup with your computer, the camera will pair automatically and the EOS utility will launch after pairing. This may take a few minutes. If EOS utility did not launch automatically, disconnect Wi-Fi on the camera then we need to check the network settings on your Mac. 
Click the Wi-Fi icon on the upper right of the screen, then select Open Network Preferences at the bottom of the window. On the camera, go back in the Wireless Communication Settings. Under the Wi-Fi Function section, select Remote Control EOS Utility, and select Connect using the set that you use to pair with your Mac. Back on the Network menu screen in your Mac, click on the Network Name drop-down box. Select your camera's nickname, and make sure the box next to Automatically Join This Network is checkmarked. The camera should now be connected with the computer and EOS Utility will open automatically. Close the Network Menu window when finished. If you lose Wi-Fi connection because of an updated operating system or a software update, performing a wireless settings reset may resolve the problem. Press the Menu button and go to the first wrench menu. Select Wireless Communication Settings then select Clear Settings. Select OK. Wireless communication will reset back to the default settings. Please follow the video again from the beginning to reconnect to your computer. Congratulations! You have successfully connected your Canon EOS digital SLR camera to your Mac. You can now share photos and videos from your camera to your computer. For help with connecting your camera to a Windows computer, Android, or iOS device, please visit our YouTube channel for more videos. Thank you for watching!